Today we're at the Cimarron Valley Research Station just north of Perkins and we're assessing some of the uh, damage we received to our pecan orchard here at the station. And so we had that historic ice uh, event occur on Monday and Tuesday of this past week. And it, um, it caused a lot of damage to our large uh, pecan trees that we have in our research plots. One part of, of the uh, historic part of that ice storm was how early it was. Our, our trees were fully leafed out, had just a, a full canopy of foliage, and many of our trees hadn't been harvested. And you can see on, on some of these limbs that are hanging still on the tree, they're covered uh, with a crop of, these are Kansa pecans. And you can see the shucks, they are, um, they're, they're opened. These nuts have been ripe for a while, but they were still hanging in the tree. Um, and we decided to harvest some of the others that were falling out of the tree a little bit earlier. But the Kansa, they are a early ripening pecan, but you can see once these sutures split, that nut is ripe. And you can see the shuck is still green and it's not been frozen. Uh, we only got to about 29 degrees here at the research station. And normally we think of having damage to the shucks and leaves at 28 or a little bit lower. So we really didn't get damage to the, to the green tissue, but we got damage from the weight of the ice. And having the weight of the leaf, leaf load and the crop load, we lost a lot of our major limbs. And so today we're kind of just trying to clean up the orchard getting some of the limbs out of the way so we can finish harvesting these trees. It's gonna be difficult to shake a tree when you have all these limbs hanging. So we're gonna to try to remove those, get in here where we can harvest the, the rest of the crop. I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna remove the crop from these limbs that are detached, but as long as we, um, maybe if we let these shucks dry down a little bit more, the nuts will fall out a little bit easier and we'll be able to run the harvester over the orchard floor. But first step is just getting clean up and not getting too excited about worrying about all the major cuts that we need to do. After we get them harvested, we can come back and do some of those, those pruning cuts that need to be done to remove those splits and some of the limb removal that uh, is gonna help with the, with the restoration of the orchard. But many of our trees, they lost the top branches. So we're gonna have to have a lift in here with some pole saws to do that, um, that final pruning. And it may take several months or, or even into next year trying to get these cleaned up and where they're producing uh, like we need to again. When we lose those, those major branches at the top, pecans are pretty resilient. They're gonna push out new shoots and a lot of those new shoots will uh, be very whippy and grow really quickly because it's trying to restore that canopy. So we ask that people, whenever we're, we're thinking about fertilizing this next spring, maybe they don't fertilize right when they start uh, new regrowth, but maybe wait and see how the trees are responding. If they're, they're growing slowly, may add a little bit of fertilizer, but we don't want them to grow too quickly. So that's a big point in, in getting our trees back into shape is growing enough, but not too quickly so that the, the uh, top may be too weak to hold leaves or, or new fruit. So it'll take many years to get back to where we were at the research station, but pecan trees, they, they like to grow. So even if you're um, cutting them back severely, they're gonna push new growth. Um, it may be a good time if you have a variety that you don't like, it may be a good time to go in and do some, some uh, grafting this next spring. So this is the first time that we've had an ice storm at the research station. Normally you think of them in the eastern part of the state. And so a lot of our homeowners around here are seeing the same type of damage. And what we recommend is take care of those, those uh, limbs that are dangerous, have someone come in and remove those for you, but be patient and just wait a little bit before you uh, come in and try to solve all of your problems with your trees. Um, it's not gonna hurt to, to leave them and do some of that final pruning later. So it might be a good time to think about hiring an arborist to come in and take a look at your trees and how healthy they are and if, if trying to save them is a, the proper 
uh, way to go about that. So um, be patient and, uh, and watch them. Uh, it'll be a, a, a time to watch and see how they regrow and, and learn a little bit about how those trees uh, respond to major pruning at this time. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.